The Ontario government has extended its strict stay-at-home orders in three of the province's COVID-19 hotspots. Toronto, Peel Region and the North Bay area will be under lockdown for at least another two weeks. Infection rates are high and there are major concerns over how more transmissible variants are circulating in the communities. But as Eric Sorensen reports, there's a real divide among some health officials over when to reopen. Ontario is a case study in the debate to open up or not. One more region, York, is moving from lockdown to red zone, allowing openings with restrictions for retail shopping and indoor dining. The region's medical officer of health says it's the right call. We've been actually seeing a decrease in the numbers of cases that we have. And our incidence levels are now compatible with us being in the red zone. But right next door to York, a very different message from health officials in Toronto and Peel regions. They want no changes yet, worried about the threat posed by COVID variants. By the time the confirmed case counts are big enough to shock us, it will be too late to do anything. So the Premier left lockdowns in place for three regions. They're on the ground. And it's my responsibility to support them to support our municipal partners. Ontario has seen a remarkable drop in the rate of reported COVID cases from a peak of 167 per 100,000 population in early January, down by more than two thirds to 53 last week. Compared with the Ontario average, many regions have rates lower than that. But Toronto and Peel still have significant numbers of COVID cases and variants put a big question mark over what lies ahead. It's prompted a rare divergence among public health officials. In York? We are fairly confident that we are not seeing any explosive behaviour amongst the, amongst the variants. While in Toronto... The variants of concern mean we face a deceptively dangerous situation. There are different realities in different parts of the province, absolutely. This epidemiologist says it's a strange time. Health officials and politicians correctly see things getting better, but also possibly another wave before we're done. We're entering a comfortable zone because, you know, the worst of it seems to be over, but we're also entering a more dire period where that threat of the third wave is real. Dion Andin and other experts are, on balance, becoming more optimistic. There are things that we need to continue to monitor, Variants being one of them, we should respect these things. But I think in the big picture, we are in a very good spot. The big picture, still some months from being fully developed. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.